having connection issues with the Sony on the screen. But we got the table set, the table, the bar top, the bar top, the countertop set up. Good Lord, what are my things called? And I don't even think I showed y'all, showed y'all my freaking, my, my little beardy, my little beard. I don't think I shot y'all that. So uh, after, after, you know, four years of YouTube, I thought maybe I'd finally get a wind protection device and, you know, be nice to my audience. So, all right, all right, so actually having better luck this time. Turn you on. Wi-Fi's on. Turn you on. Can you even see the crack? Probably not on this screen because it's too dark. I just lost my mind the other day and beat the crap out of my phone. And I was like, oh, it's not too bad. Just a little crack in the front. I didn't even notice that actually until the next day. And then it occurred to me, I was like, you should just take off the, uh, you should take off the, uh, the how you doing? Switch over. We're doing the old switcheroo. Switch over. We're doing the old switcheroo. And, uh, and, uh, check the back of it. Flip that over and check the back of it. Take your case off here and give the old inspection. Well, I did. And, uh, no goo. Total back is shuttered. So, you can kind of, I'm not going to take it off because little pieces of glass fall. I don't know. You might be able to make out some of the some of the cracking in the camera area. I don't know if you can see that or not. I think maybe you can, but yeah, so. But the whole bag is shattered, so. I got a, I got a, I got a, the S20 coming. This is two years old anyway. Um, all right, so we got our masking tape on the back of our countertop here. Take put that right off. And I, I sanded it down. I don't even want to sand it down with. Whatever it said to it. All right, I don't know why my, this camera's just shutting off. I guess it's a good thing I gotta, I'm gonna be using, I think, my new phone to uh, film the Dell on primarily that and that GoPro. Cause this Sony is so messed up. $400 camera and it was messed up from the beginning, so. That's lovely. Clean that off with some uh, denatured alcohol, just to make sure it's free and clear. And really, I ought to try to vacuum up this room because there's so much dog hair, a little bit of plastic on the floor. But I don't know. I'm just gonna try my best not to uh, not to stir it up. I guess. Okay. So here we go. We need three containers. All right, so uh, here's hoping that everything's going to be legit. So I hope there's no water in here. It doesn't look like it, but I had to. Uh, I don't know if you see all these bubbles, like this shipped in cold weather, and then they're all like, "Oh no, you might have some fucked up epoxy because epoxy doesn't do well in cold." Sorry about that. Um, just, you know, heat it up to 140 degrees. That's easy. Unless you have discounted the advice of your water heater manufacturer and increased your temperature past the safe threshold, then you can't really get past 125 degrees. So, I have to do a bunch of boilers. A bunch of boilers, you know, water pots in the stove to try to get it to temperature. And hopefully, it got out all the crystallization and hopefully what I'm seeing is just air bubbles because if not, this whole project is about to be ruined.
tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow, put another seal coat on. Uh, I'll probably need to uh, It's gonna be good. kitchen on account of kind of it's in the middle of a, of a multi-year remodel it is a multi-year remodel and if you may or may not be aware I think I'm about to have a disaster on my hands because I'm about to forget to spray my pan because I'm talking to y'all so what I got here is a two egg omelet, omelet. two eggs with about I don't know half a tablespoon to a tablespoon, a half to a half to one tablespoon of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper. This is clearly my best kitchen towel. It's good. You're good. Don't don't throw that one away yet, bud. Got a whole bunch of ones that look great, but why in the hell would I why in the hell would I oh apparently I left my fridge open too that's good. Burner is uh, slightly less than medium. It's way easier just to go, uh, which I think I'm going to do. A, tri a trifold is nice. A trifold is nice, but it's it's way easier just to fold in half and then in half again. And I got I got my burner a little too high, as you can. You might be able to tell from the brown spots. You do not want your egg browning on the outside, at least this early. But to be fair, I was just cooking sausage and I had it higher. I had it at a higher, uh, higher temperature. And what I like to do is I just like to put it on heat, take it off heat, put it on heat, take it off heat. Same thing with I'm doing scrambled eggs to keep them from overcooking. I poke a little hole in this. Poke a little hole in it, and that way I can see if any, if any egg is oozing out or if it's all cooked. It definitely appears to all be cooked now. So we'll take turn that off and take it off heat. Ridiculously sized biscuits here. I got some cheese here. Yeah, always got got lots of cheese in the in the mutton chop household. We do big cheese. Big cheese fanatics, here we are. Got all types of the cheeses. Today we're going to go for gonna go for a combination of a uh, pepper jack and sharp cheddar. Pepper jack and sharp cheddar. Star of that would be a little bit better. And I do have a slightest bit of uh, butter on the outside tops of these biscuits. And we'll put a piece of sausage on. You know what? They will think better of this. That sausage on top. Get some bacon, we shall. Do four big old slices of bacon there, we will. And then our egg and sausage. I think I'm gonna be crazy and put this uh, this cheese between the egg and sausage, like like yonder. And then just because I have it, I think we're gonna go ahead and put a piece of Swiss on the top. Probably half sweet Swiss. Half piece Swiss and dog gets the other half. How about that? So I'm going to stick it in the microwave for 15 seconds I am. And that... Oh, just freaking... It's apparently not how you do that because I got it all cattywampus and the whole the whole thing sliding off. So that's just that's just a death sandwich that is. And you should uh, go make yourself one right now. Oh, it's falling apart. I don't know what you can or can't make out, but this is what it looks like before 
having done anything to it except put that epoxy on yesterday. You can see it's definitely not level because this didn't have hardly anything or I, either that or I scraped more off this side. But uh, this definitely seems thicker over here. Um, but it's fine because I can hit it with a sander, take a bunch of shit off, scuff it up. I really, rather not not take it off, but scuff it up. And I didn't hit it with the uh, I didn't hit it with the heat gun, and I probably should have. Just saying, I, you wouldn't see all these pockets probably if I had. But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sand that off, blow it off. But I don't know if I can do it today because it's kind of nasty out. So I have to see what the weather does. But yeah, so a little bit of sanding, and uh, and then a little bit of a better pour this time. Make sure it's level. And then yeah, Uncle Bobinos. Hopefully. I don't even know what to tell you about that other than the cute factor is out of freaking control. I don't know why you are not in on this. I guess because you're playing with that darn leaf. But oh my goodness. Oh my gracious me. Okay, well it's just windier as frig it is, and it's chillier as frig. Or rather it's chillier as frig and it's it's it, and it's definitely slightly windy, but it'll be a good test for my, my little wind beard here. My little wind my little wind beard. <laughs> Well, the sanding nets are good, but they're expensive. But I still should have bought some because this paper gets uh, caked up quick. I guess I'm just going to have to realize my dream of being a singer since I don't need any hands or anything to do with it. I can just put the microphone in front of me and I can sit on the stage and I can sing since nothing on my body is going to work in 10 years. It's awesome. All right, so I got my new. Uh, new sanding discs because I needed some. Terrible bad. I did. So I would have figured this sucks if that's all the 220s they give you. Even though it's what people use the most of. But I guess that's why it's a deal. I guess that's why it's a deal. Oh great, been recording nothing this whole time. You love it when that happens, Chuck. Alright, so uh, I am running a little low on denatured alcohol, but I'm, I'm, I should be okay, but I was just checking if I could uh, use mineral spirits to clean between, and it says you can also, but I think uh, since we have enough denatured alcohol, we'll just use that. And I also managed it to splatter all over my body, which is a good thing. Exactly what we want. And I'm gonna take it inside and clean it again. I just wanted to give it the initial out here. Okay, let's take this bad boy inside. flame it yesterday. I don't know if y'all it's coming up on camera but I'm seeing a whole bunch of little pockets. Um, but yeah, okay. Nothing to do but let it dry and then do a flood coat. Flood coat. I cannot say that. Flood coat tomorrow. Alright, got my new otter box here. Got my stickers on it. I don't know how long they'll last but I'm so sick of the only offer. They offer blue and black and pink and I've had black for almost every phone I've ever had. I had that same color blue 
on at least one phone. I'm like, you know what, I'm getting pink and I'm putting stickers on it because I'm a little bit self-conscious about the pink, but not really. But so yeah, chopped up a GoPro, how you doing? Chopped up Bernie, how you doing? And I'm crafty like that, how you doing? I don't know if you can see all the imperfections in this. I didn't do my seal coat well the first time, I presume, and or probably should have added heat since it was probably too thick. But there are all sorts of divots and I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I knew once it was one and done. But I do need to put one more seal coat on it because some, for some reason, I don't know if you can tell, but this part didn't coat well. So I'm going to do, go out and sand it up again and get it ready to go. And then I'll do one more uh, seal, seal slash flood coat. And, uh, and then uh, the next one will be the, the final. And that'll be it. And I don't even, I bought all that auto, auto polish buff and stuff. I don't even, honestly, once I put my last one on there, I don't even think I'm going to have to do that. I probably will since I bought it. But, I mean, maybe if I have little imperfections like that. I don't know if this is dust particles. Like, that's a divot. That's a divot. Um, these are imperfections under the surface. So those are air bubbles from the first pour. But that feels like... That could be a divot, but it feels like a dust particle. But yeah, I'm just going to sand it again and, and uh, clean it off again and bring it back in. One more. Well, as you can maybe see, I took off too much here. And I took off too much here because there was a little bit of a buildup of epoxy. And it was going to look like garbage. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty convinced it's going to look like garbage anyway. Okay, got a bit of an odd story here I do. Oh, look, my new phone, or my old phone, all taped up. It's gonna be, I'm gonna pay the extra $200 and still owe on it. It might be almost three, I think it's 240, 260, something like that. And I'm going to uh, use this as my DJI, my DJI fly camera, my drone camera, cause you know, I gotta take it out of the case every time I hook it up with the drone. So that's primarily gonna be, you know, I'm just using it now cause I had it handy to hook it to my GoPro and I haven't done it on my new one yet. So I'm not sure if it's set up. This plug randomly just stopped working. I don't know what's going on. Like it didn't work for like, a, when we first tried it, we didn't, we had nothing over here. So we hadn't tried, we didn't need anything over here for a while. And then I bought, I don't know, I bought something and needed to plug it in and discovered it didn't work. And I was like, well, that's weird. And then, and look how much I need to sweep behind here. Oh my goodness. So my little robot vacuums do good on the main floor, but they can't get back here in the corner. Sweep up a couple dusty fellers there. It just, it crapped the bed. I don't know. It, it just, last night, I mean, you see, I, I've got a surge protector and another surge protector. I literally had both of these, had both of these, uh, both of these surge protectors plugged into here. But it's been like that for months. And it's this breaker. And uh, I'm like, okay, it must be tripped. Well, it's not tripped. It wasn't tripped. So I'm like, well, that's weird. So then I, I put my emergency bulb, you know, the one that lights up when the power goes out, in that lamp to see what happened. And it's not going on like it should. Um when it's plugged in. So I don't know. So it's like, it's not getting power enough power, but it's getting some power to the outlet. 
So when I turned the, I took this little digital clock of the old ladies, turned the power on, and I have power at this plug with the breaker on, but I don't have light and I don't have power in that plug, which is probably the direct opposite of that plug. Like I'm 90% sure that they're wired, literally wired together. I don't know. I don't know if they'll fit. It seems pretty deep. All right. Well, that's what. I, that's the plan anyway. Man, one of these days. No. Oh, did I even show you my counter? I'm not sure I showed you my counter. All right. So it's all dry. I still like I'm gonna do one more real light scuffing and then an actual flood coat. So I've never done a flood coat yet, but it's just gonna look like garbage and there's nothing I can do about it. I guess. Like that'll probably buff off. I guess. Like I don't even know. Like is that like a is that like a particle? That like fell in the uh, you can't even so anyway it's totally a little raised fucking how you doing there i don't know you can kind of sunt it right yeah so i don't know what the deal is i don't know if a piece of my poly polyfoam brush fell off or just a piece of dust floating in the air whatever these little you're not even gonna be able to sunt it turn them off oh it's such a such reflection in here don't need a knot if you can even sound it, I don't think you can. But there are little tiny random divots. Not air bubbles, but literal divots. I mean, there's totally a couple, a couple raised up air bubbles too. You can't see anything looking straight down. Like looking straight down at it. Like it looks pretty glorious. You got to catch the right, just light, right. Then you can see all these divots and shit. I don't know. If, I don't think it's coming across on camera. But trust me, it does not look good at all. <laughs> I was like selling this to somebody. They'd be like, yeah, I ain't paying money for that garbage. Fuck out of here. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not um, sure you know, it's coming across. Yeah, I just want to show you all that. I don't know. Can y'all even, can y'all see those? You can see that. You can definitely see that little imperfect. It's like a divot for no reason. Just like a divot. Like, why are you divot it out? Why are you divot it out? Why? You can see that. You can see it. Oh, look, you can. Yeah, I don't. Like, why? Why is it a little tiny divot? Like, why? I don't know why. But. Whatever. It's a fucking trailer. That's worth nothing. So what do I care? I'm going to do my best and. Do my best and finish the counter. But I'm definitely happier with the epoxy than I am with the polyurethane. It's definitely a lot less uh, labor intensive. So, I mean, and there's just as much room for air. Like, it's just as easy to fuck up either one, so. What the fuck? Great fucking idea. What the actual fuck? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely having to call electrician. There's no way in fuck I can do any of that. Like, what the fuck am I even looking at? Uh, that's like wired into the box, but then it's just shooting on down the line. 30 degrees, and the real feel is about 25. You know that dude is freezing balls. Bonus though, he's got a metal pipe in his backpack, which is the perfect device to impale oneself when one wrecks after one's hands become too numb to properly grip the bars on account of the motherfucking freezing cold wind. How you doing? I apologize. Like for every 10 miles per hour over 50 at anything below, I think like 40 degrees or something, like the, the, the temperature drops exponentially. Like you're just standing out here right now, it feels like it's 27. The way he's riding, it feels like it's 12. I used to ride in cold weather, but never this cold. Maybe he's got some heated gloves or something. Looks like some pretty thin pants. Don't even have any snowboard pants on. They've got to be freezing. Yeah, it's definitely freezing. Looks like a selfie stick in the back. <sighs> okay, I got everything cleaned out. Probably can't see. Probably can't see anything. Got some uh, plastic sheathing taped over the old plastic sheathing. Hopefully that'll be enough to hold it. There's only one small slit in there. 
And now I got a bunch of insulation. A bunch of insulation that I gotta put in. Okay, subfloor. Subfloor all down. I just gotta just gotta button up the button up the other floor. And again, I'm not I'm not spending any more time worrying about worrying about the you know the aesthetic quality or the perfection of a freaking double wide. All right, closets all buttoned up. I mean, not all buttoned up. Eventually, they'll be trimming here too, because it's the only real way to seal up the floors, you know. And but you know, still gonna do the ceiling, right? But I won't do that until after the roof's fixed. But that's the whole reason I did this, is because now I can bring a ladder in here and actually fix all the strapping that I'm gonna need to replace that piece of board that's in there now. So I get all this strapping replaced. Let's go overkill McGill. Overkill McGill I will. And uh, maybe get some of these metal things, metal hurricane brackets or whatever. But in the meantime now I can walk in here and not have to worry about not being not worry not worry about falling through. My next my next duty when the rain stops it'll be get back on this table. Go ahead and Give it one more good sand and then uh, a big flood coat and then whatever happens, whatever happens. I mean, there's a big bump. There's like a divot. I showed you all that the other day, but whatever. I told you all I don't care anymore. I just I just want it done. So I'm just doing it, just sealing it, getting it done. Once the kitchen's done, then I can really go to work. I'm really go to work on all these. All this. And uh and this is pretty much done. I just got to clean off the rest on the other side like I did in here off these rafters. Then I can throw the ceiling back up. Um, not the ceiling back up, throw a new ceiling up. And I'm probably just going to use, probably just going to use the remainder of this insulation for that. Just kind of set it on the back of my, well, probably, yeah, just feed it up there and try to feed it up there and just lay it across my rafters. And then when I put my, Put my, put my sheet rock back up. Then, uh, Uncle Bobinos. But yeah, like I said, quit today. I can't wait till this, all this is done. And you know, years away, but still, one step at a time. Okay. Uh, musical time lapse. The final flood coat of this here. So here we go. Okay, I have never done anything in the way of computer repair, but we are going to attempt it. Just get enough to get my card in there. some shit the money it's gonna cost me for a new computer I should have just paid the computer shop to change out my RAM cuz I'm about to ruin this fucking thing almost definitely oh my god oh my god I'm such a fucking idiot of course I'm gonna ruin it because I totally forgot to take out all these screws oh my fucking god oh my god oh yeah this is why I'm ruining it right now I'm just such a fucking idiot. Yeah. 
Yeah, this isn't even a computer. I watched it being taken apart. Okay, well, that's ruined. Yeah, that's what I would have been replacing. <sighs> yeah, that is definitely broken. Trash. All right. That's how you, that's how you destroy $500 like that, boys. Just $500 in the trash. So when you think you can't do it, you should really stop before it gets to a point where you know you're going to fuck shit up. Because I knew, as soon as I started getting into this thing, that I should stop and just fucking pay the $100 or $80 or whatever it costs for somebody to throw those two RAM cards in. But no, no. Instead, I destroyed my brand new laptop. I mean, I don't even know what that, that's some sort of USB that goes over here, but surely it's supposed to connect to something, but it was just flying loose in there. And then these are definitely supposed to connect to something. But not anymore. And, uh, yeah. Fuck. Okay. She's totally done. And she's a shiny bitch. No, that's the front. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. The point is, I messed up the front. I mean, I didn't mess it up. It just, it messed up. I don't even know if you can. I think you can probably see where that epoxy is doubled up and run over. So I don't know. I mean, whatever. I told y'all I'm not going to worry about it. But yeah, there's totally, I'm not really sure how to, I mean, I, I can't, I'm not even filming it. Sorry. Um, I came by with my brush a couple times and got that. I thought, it, but I guess it just kept on running and kept on running for a while. Maybe I put on two thick coats. But, uh, there's that one divot. I don't know if you can see that, but for some reason it just kept on divoting out. I think you can kind of see that it, there's a slight little dip there. But yeah, I got this auto polish, right? The rougher grit and the, and the less rough grit and... But, you know, of course, the video I watched that, they didn't use Moss Epoxy. And this stuff is like glass, so... I think we're good. I mean, I am totally disappointed with the front here, but... You know, I can't really do anything about it. I mean, maybe I could fashion a little black. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll see about getting some black metal strips to go across the front. And then see about, like... Put them in with like little, you know, rivets or something. Um, industrialize the counter a little bit since it's so shiny. Because honestly, I don't like this look near as good as I do just the wood. But you can see. Yeah, you can see everything. I don't know. I don't know if you can see the imperfections in the wood here. I mean, you can see where I forgot to put stain back for sure. Um, whatever. <laughs> you can tell I've lost my patience with this project after, you know, it going on a year past the time it was supposed to. I don't know. Y'all are probably like, it looks fine. But see, I can see all the imperfections. But whatever it is what it is. And it's done. And uh, I'll let it cure for five to seven days and then I'll I'll mount it and then see about working on the other one. Hopefully we'll be able to do it in this room. I'm not 100% sure whether there's going to be enough room in here. But we shall see.